welcome to another session of your image, your program, the first in Africa on public relations production. Here we are once again doing a review, evaluating success of an event, and now an event should go. Uh, I still have with me uh, veteran journalists, uh, PR practitioners who are doing their own in their respective uh, places. Uh, this time around, uh, I also welcome Stella Sawyer once again. Stella Sawyer is the Corporate Affairs Manager, Apple and Piers. Uh, you are welcome. Thanks so much for your contributions last week. Uh, it was very revealing. Dele uh, Akishola, I know that you are always a delight to be with. Uh, it's been so nice having you. Thank you very much. Uh, Vyas, here they are again. We are looking at uh, public relations and event evaluation. What is missing? How should an event be organized? What are the benefits derivable? And why must it not be rewarded to individuals, to the organizers, and to the community, Nigeria as a whole? Um, yeah, last week, we were talking about uh, uh, the caliber of uh, honorees that they received the award. And uh, I want us to, the award was not just a jamboree. It was to bring to the fore competence, innovation, cutting edge standards that have been exhibited by these uh, individuals. So what is your view? Do they merit it? Yeah, um, I think the, the choice of uh, the committee saddled with that uh, uh, event, uh, they, made, uh, they must have done very good research, you know, to be able to narrow down on those personalities that were, you know, uh, giving awards. Uh, one thing that uh, I, I noticed was that it's unlike all other uh, awards that are, you know, given out to people just to, to massage their ego. But this one is not to massage anybody's ego. It's based on their track record. It's based on their, their career tra trajectory and their contributions, you know, to, 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 to the community. Look at this here of a ballad. Yeah. She bought Mustafa, 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 for example. Yeah. Who was, uh, uh, I think, a former senator also. As of Rev. As of Rev, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then look at uh, the yeah. provost the of, of uh, FC, Federal yeah, College yeah, of Education, yeah. Oshiele, uh, Dr. Oshoyele. Uh, Dr. Oshoyele is somebody that I've known in the past 20 years, you know, and how he has been able to... to the to level of transformation in that at the Federal College of Education, Oshiele. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So what, because we, yeah. all of us, we knew the standard uh, of Oshiele yeah. and what it what meant on that. I think those who are heading the uh, uh, federal institutions are, are pulling their weights down. Yeah. And we also gave a word to um, the um, chief, medical director. chief medical director of the Federal um, Medical Center. Federal medical the center. Here. And I think yeah, when you go to, when you, I mean, we, drive, we drove through um, the center on our way here uh -huh. and you can see that that place is a behave of activity. Now, most times when you go through an hospital, there's this thing about, oh, government hospital, I, I mean, there's no equipment, people don't want to go there, but you can see that people are eager, they are willing to, uh, to go to such institutions because they get value Operational for efficiency. I mean, efficiency. So I, I think it's something that we need to commend. And then look at Dr. Uh, Daramola. Who has been a, 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 a yeah. guru? A PR, a, a, a PR, yeah, PR talking PR about the PR practitioners. Yes, practitioners. Yes. Yeah. You can name them. Talk yeah. about Abola, 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 uh, uh, Victoria yeah. Wadoka. Yeah. And then so uh, are they, I mean, are they doing Jai Singh? I mean, yes. so look at the so people have actually made their impact yeah. in, in the profession. So this, this uh, the awards, what I'm saying is that they are it's, no, it's, it's due merit, diligence. It's meritorious. Yes, yes. It's meritorious. And yeah. I believe that uh, it will also spur them on and, 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 and spur others. Others oh, want, yes, want to do yeah. so that If you don't merit it, PR premiums will not, will uh, not, will 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 not give you. So we want to talk about the real estate uh, sector where uh, Pelican. Yeah, guys. Pelican City. Yeah, Pelican City, Pelican, that guy. Pelican is everywhere in other states now. Yeah, <laughs> if you, will not, you should not be surprised that Pelican, uh, Pelican City is making waves. His, his background. He was a journalist. Okay. Yeah, he was. He practiced there in Ogun State, 
I think with, uh, I can't remember whether Punch or I don't know any of the people, okay. but he has, he has veered, he, so he has poured well. into uh, real estate. Yeah. And that is why he's making the difference. And so why we are celebrating him or with that award is that, oh, we have seen what he has been able to do differently. In the, in the real estate. Even a study beyond Nigeria, sure. Sure. Because the last time I read about it, it was in Canada. You know, to be able to, 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 to say, okay, uh, Nigerians in the diaspora, you can have your property here. No, you, 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 you won't run into the problem of yeah. uh, Omonile oh, yeah. or that somebody else was coming to dispossess you and of happy, your land. And happy with the finance, too. And, and finance. Mean, yeah, know? because most people don't even know that, I mean, you can hold a land, you can also build on a land. And do it the way the Americans do it. Get loans and uh, we in, in time, I mean mortgage, and in time you, you become a... Uh, what do you want to talk about, uh, about this uh, uh, empowerment, uh, the corporate social responsibility, that, I mean, helping the needy, yeah. helping the uh, widow. Uh, yeah, like. yeah, I mean, so that is fantastic. It, but like I said, it, it's, um, for, it, we need to look at the program and you know that everybody has a lot of role to play. Government's role is to make sure that people like that, people, especially all their bodies, have, I mean, we, they should reach out to them and make sure that they keep doing, I mean, like what they call private, public private partnership. partnership. PPP. Yeah, PPP. Let's see, because like you said, government cannot do it alone. We need people like that to partner with and see how we can develop the community. There's so much to do. There's so many places to reach out to. There are so many people to reach out to. We need people like that, I mean, that are touching people's lives in their small corner to, I mean, uh, let, let's widen the, the horizon. Well, uh, another area of uh, interest was uh, the sustainability of an establishment, institution. That's talking about uh, Tidal, where uh, the current director has been able to sustain the standard, even surpassing the standard. Going, in, going into entrepreneurship. And when you go into entrepreneurship, the future of the young ones uh, is the also promised. Yeah. 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 Mm. So you could see the array of those uh, award recipients uh, that uh, they were not just flukes. They were people who are deep mm -hmm. in developing people, yeah. society, and institutions. Okay. So, um, well, it's an opportunity for us to also beam searchlight on others for next uh, edition. Um, generally, generally, what do you suggest to individuals, citizens, companies, and government to do? This is a program that uh, needs support. What, what's, your, what's your opinion? I, I actually want to start with government. Um, luckily, at the program, we have um, government functionaries attending the functions, and um, they also commended the program. They commended the fact that um, it's a well thought out uh, program and the array of people that uh, were invited and also gave contributions. I think government should take it from that angle. Um, all those who attended, you know, representing one uh, ministry or the other should come together and sit down on the table to say, okay, we attended this function. What is our take home? What are we supposed to do? What are the things that we're, not, we're supposed to do? Um, we were looking at tourism. The lecture was on the culture and tourism. The tourism um, commissioner, or the PS, was there. The uh, women affairs um, commissioner, she was there. And the, who are the people that you know promote our culture? Mostly women. You know, in, in the way we are, um, our attire, in, um, in, in the way we carry ourselves. So I think they should. I, I want to ask and I want to beg that um, the organizers reach out to all the government functionaries that attended the function and ask that they have a, I mean, a, 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 what we call maybe a round table and discuss what they, t I mean, they take home from that function and see how they can help government to improve on all the things that were discussed, especially concerning culture and tourism. Like I said, culture, tourism is a gold mine that we're not even scratching the surface. We're sitting on, I mean, uh, gold, and we're, we're not just. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. That, it, it's really, indeed, we are really sitting on a gold mine, and uh, people still don't open their eyes. Uh, this cry about uh, inability to get uh, employed and whatever, people can go into issues of culture, arts, 
and then they develop some places to so that tourists can be, come around Nigeria, come around Ogun State, and then they, they'll be able to benefit a lot. And when such tourists come around, look at that, Jure. Can I, can, I, can I give you, I mean, I, I remember um, the, my first trip to the U.S. I, I wore, um, because it was sponsored by the U.S. Uh, consulate, and I wore a Jure, you know, um, Nikapoga. The lady that was our chauffeur, the, the, um, uh, in the U.S., so I was, I mean, she was even the, the limo uh, chauffeur. Okay. Immediately, we, I mean, she saw me, she was like, oh, you're not going to go back to Nigeria with <laughs> what you're putting on. I'm, I'm, going, to to, I'm going to collect it. I thought she was joking. <laughs> I mean, immediately she dropped us off. She came into my room and said, oh, she's waiting to get it. Because <laughs> to her, it's a beauty yeah. to have African fabric. And I know they value that a lot. Luckily for me, I, t I got some, you know, because we had uh, some families that we need to... I mean, stay with to um, visit in uh, I think Pittsburgh. We were in the Pittsburgh University, and they love African fabric. And these are the things that we don't even value. Mm. I, I, I want to commend the Ogun State government. I mean, encouraging the fact that weekend government functionaries must put on uh, the red fabric Friday. to I mean, yes, to, to work, and that has helped the industry and it's still helping the industry now. Man, I mean, in ev every um, functions. They put on made in Nigeria um, fabrics. I think it will go a long way if we encourage uh, things like that. Yeah, the encouragement of uh, arts, culture, and tourism, uh, particularly these are our uh, dresses, fabrics. Uh, what do you think are the potentials? What are the benefits for the people and the uh, business base of uh, that industry? Uh, the industry for a long time, up until uh, the, an administration under, I think, Bikuli Abusu, you know, did, uh, you know, that market. In fact, is uh, I saw it on uh, DSTV one day, and I couldn't believe it. I was calling people to say, "This is uh, a direct it market." Took, it, took, it, took, it, took, it, took it took It was on DSTV that they were showing it and around the world. So you see, the thing is this: if we can make sure that the all the gains in that industry is sustained. That alone will be able to give Ogun State government, even Nigeria, and no one's resources. No one's resources that you will be able. Now, the other time, somebody contacted my wife. Is maybe there were schoolmates. Is based in London, and they wanted to to, to do a remembrance in in, in in memory of their mother and all of that. And he contacted my she contacted my wife and said, "Can you help us get a direct yes. from Abekuta?" Yes. You know, by the time we, we package the thing, in fact, the woman who, who sold the thing to us in uh, the Itoku. market, yeah, Itoku, packaged it, you know, professionally. Yeah. And then we now took it, you know, to, to, the, to, to, to somebody who would uh, take it abroad. So, but in all of this, that's just an aspect of uh, uh, the tourism mm -hmm. that we're talking about. For example... Is it the business, not even the tourism, the business angle to it? Because, yeah. I mean... Mm -hmm. I mean, she's definitely she's there to make money. Even government employment. Yeah, it's government employment. In fact, have you, have, you, have you been to that market before? Yeah. There is a place where the, the industry is, where they make the tire and die. Yes. Come and see hands. Young people, Young that, people. Yes. that have been brought into it. In fact, there is a woman that I, I interviewed. Uh, is, is handing over the business to so, so her daughter. Are, yeah. and all of that, they are continuing. Most of, those, most of those who are selling yes. were children of those who started the business several, several years, years ago. ago. Now they've that, even, that, that's proper they, they've even mm, modified yeah, yeah. it now that it's not just got buying the material as in material. Now you have the one sewn for men, for children, for, for ladies. I mean, they've, they've, they've they, they, even artists yeah. Yeah, are now having a buy in. Into, into expressing uh, themselves yes. through yeah. such uh, opportunities, yeah. yeah. even even children yes. of such people who have studied arts and the like, yeah. now see it as a preoccupation. Uh, pre designing, what? designing so many things, table mats, shoes, you know, even there. Uh, uh, so I mean, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of things. Quite a lot. Uh, we, we must give uh, kudos to OGTV yeah. for giving us this opportunity to to showcase what we have. Uh, and even for showcasing, uh, for empowering uh, Pierre Pramos to run this program on this uh, beach. Um, beyond that, how do you see the engagement of the press? Uh, for the first time, I see some of these uh, mega stations 
appearing on our program and then uh, doing their bit. Is this, uh, it was in, I mean, then that journalists, you know, you see yourself as rivals, but I think now the social media has actually shown us that there's, um, what do you call it, this Mid high is so wide yeah, yeah. for anybody to please expand. And I think uh, it will, uh, I, like you said, we need to thank um, OGTV um, because um, without their support, I don't think um, PRP was will will be no. the valley guru the valley guru have been, yeah. i mean they've given you the the, the it's an opportunity the outlook yeah. they've given you the shine i mean an avenue to shine yeah. and um, i also want to the, uh, comment the fact that the past um, um director the managers the managers they were actually yeah. there in person and that actually gave credence to the fact that they value the program and they want to encourage uh, those who are the realms uh, of affairs now to partner with uh, PM and to help um, the, the the show to continue, I think it's also a way to also endorse um, the program as a genuine program that uh, people. Uh, can, uh, maybe maybe uh, we also want to commend the Nigerians for populations. Well, for it, endorsing, well it, for it, that it. I, I I want to say. About you I mean, saying you the you is that did you praise yourself? Uh, yeah, because you know, it no, is, it's, it's not just about. It's a thing of vision. Mm. Yes. A thing of vision because uh, the current uh, president, yeah. uh, Dr. Yes. Ikene Leku, have a broad vision. And you can see what the man is doing. Yeah. In Networking. Some few months, I mean, when he started, uh, I mean, he became the president. He has changed the landscape. So much that, I mean, people begin to marvel that, oh, so all along, there's so much that we can do every day, every week, every month, there is a program. For people to key into, and now government is seeing PR practitioners. The essence of PR. Yes, in as every aspect of life that cannot be, you know, relegated to the background. What's your view? Yes. Um, uh, uh, let me say that the the, the buy-in into this program by the media, the, talking of media support, is so huge. And uh, you know, when like Stella was saying that, do we need to praise ourselves? I say yes. Uh, in Yoruba parlance, they said, if you don't, yes, if and if you don't praise yourself, nobody will come and praise you. Uh -huh. So, and it's also good that they, they are doing it and doing it right. Yeah. Uh, in the past, they boycott such events and say, until maybe it's, it's commercial. It's commercial. You have to pay to, to do that and all that. So, but, but, but how do you, how do, uh, will the prepare people be able to uh, finance the bill, no, no, the media no. bill for no. such coverage? No. I said no. So, but all of this is uh, telling people that your image, public relations, is uh, something that everybody needs. It's not just institutions, no. it's just not, everybody, everybody. needs. And so there is, uh, uh, the, the, the consciousness is there now for people to say, oh yeah, uh, we have uh, a, a, a company, we have an organization that is uh, championing, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 yeah, image, the image. Yeah. and so it, it's a good thing. Uh, but the, when you look at those, like the, we are talking of the NIPR president, for example, mm -hmm. it's done so much. And uh, when I saw some of the moves he was making, when I was in Abuja some months ago, saw the moves that he was making, going quietly into some organizations, was okay, we must have rampex in landholds in, in this organization. And it's, 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 and it's working, working, expanding the frontiers of all the populations. Working. Now, when you saw what played out between an NPC spokesman and uh, Dangote spokesman, mm -hmm. I want to bring up that issue because one, one person used foul language on the other. Mm -hmm. And I know that the NIPR president must have moved in to say, look, you don't, uh, dogs don't eat, dogs, dogs don't yeah. eat the, the dogs. Yes. And you say somebody is misguided and mischievous. That's the, uh, the, 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 the PR language. It's, it's <laughs> not a PR language. It's well, language. Perhaps, perhaps you want to, to also enlighten uh, uh, people on the, the understanding of how PR people must behave, must speak, must uh, uh, create a robust engagement with themselves, with the community, and the like. Uh, what's your take on that? I think I want to say um, we're, we're developing. We're also doing well um, compared to how it was, you know, um, some few years back. A public relations person is just there as. Um, 
an officer in the in the office or maybe in the uh, conglomerate just you know making sure that communities are are not um, disrupting the activities of your company well, but it has it has gone beyond that it's about you know reputation building uh, it's about even the courage of um, a, a professional you know there's a difference now uh, now most journalists are into maybe well I, I, I won't say maybe because um, the media industry is not really pulling their weight but most of the most media practitioners are going into public relations profession and they're doing so well their courage and everything I think it's also about the experience they have also garnered as um, a journalist is helping them and they are pulling their weight they are making sure that oh it's all about reputation building it's all about tapping into people's uh, potential maybe you want to talk about the level of education yeah. and exposure now well yes. of course you, you you can't practice if you're not educated yeah, okay, if yeah. you have not even gone through a communication school um because if you have and you must be you know, you know, you know, you know, certified, certified. Yeah, certified. That's that certification is even and i'm happy important. and i'm happy that uh, the the institution the institute is actually uh, uh, pushing this that you can't practice you know as a PR practitioner if you are not uh, certified, certified, certified yeah. and and that is also encouraging people who are in school especially those who are uh, diverting in public relations to say oh no yes we're reading public relations in school but we still want to you know get uh, the certification of um, you want to talk about the pedigree of uh, PR practitioners nowadays yeah uh, the, uh, any any uh, PR practitioner that is what is sought of course must be well trained and grounded in prayer practice. You see, because you, ca you can't flaunt whatever you don't, what you don't, you don't have. have yeah. you, can, you, you don't give what you don't have. And so I, I have seen people who have really prepared themselves, you know, going through training and certification by the uh, institute. institute and all of that. So the, the, that, has, that again, you know, marked out a, a well grounded uh, PR uh, professional. When you see them in some offices, you know, managing the image of their of their principal, okay, yeah. you see the difference. That the difference is clear, and that's why uh, when you see the way uh, the government of the country is managing its public relations, and uh, we are getting backlash, mm -hmm. you know, from uh, yeah. uh, uh, several quarters and then even abroad, it's because. Is the absence of uh, the uh, uh, practitioners, practitioners there trained practitioners, practitioners there. not manning the yes. positions? In your own opinion, uh, what is the future for your image PR program? Yeah, the your image uh, uh, PR program. PR program. In fact, the the, the future is, uh, is is bright. To want to also you know improve yes. on what you know the past um, uh, episodes have been. So I, I think then the array of uh, people that. Um, come into the program. There are people who have a lot to offer um, intellectually. People who are enriched yeah, you professionally. Are enriched, you know, they have a lot to And do. they are looking up to another program, uh, maybe the next year, and um, future program. Uh, sponsors? Oh, yeah. I think we just uh, have to, like, um, like I said, um, if you have a good program, all it needs to keep it on air is to make sure that they get sponsors. So we want to ask and encourage people, especially uh, conglomerates, to please you know, partner with um, OGTV, yeah. mm. partner with uh, PR Primus mm. to make sure that this um, um, program do not go off here. And because people have a lot to Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The future of your image PR program is with you. Partner, sponsor, and advertise on this program. Until next week, I want to appreciate uh, Stella Sawyer. Thank you. For being part of this uh, uh, discussion. It's a great um, Thank you, sir. Stella Soya is a corporate affairs manager, Apple and Pierce. Thank you. And uh, Dele Akishala is also a veteran journalist, PR expert. Thank you. And your uncle, Akin Kudola. Till next week, we'll bring you a new topic. I say thank you for being with us. God bless you.